trying to grab a rebound, and Iggy seemed to disagree with the call. Scotty, does anyone have any better reactions than Iggy? <laughs> <laughs> no, Iggy never committed a foul. Come on. Oh, I, I, I've... I don't think I've ever seen an NBA player commit a foul, but that reaction is priceless. Look at him. It's like it, it chills him to the bone. He's like, wait, 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 what? Look at him. That's my wildcat brother. Look at him. Look at him. He did a speed walk there. You got to love it. Got to love it. Yes. I just like that no NBA player has ever committed a foul ever. No. No. That's, no, that's the problem with the referees is that we're perfect. <laughs> that's what they need to understand. Our moms tell us that all the time. All the time. All the time. Uh, she's the only one. But yes. all right, make revenge. LeBron on the break last night. Absolutely bodied Tyler Hero on the way to the dunk. Uh, are you surprised LeBron didn't snarl back at Hero, Scotty? I mean, remember that snarl from the last game. Yeah, I'm surprised LeBron didn't, didn't give him that little mean look. Mm. That should have been a right back at yeah. it. Really, I thought it was an offensive foul. 250 pounds knocking oh. down 150. Come on. Ow, come on, Scott. Offensive foul. Look, he didn't snarl at him because Mustafa does he does not <laughs> he does not snarl at Simba. He doesn't do that. And look, look, we, we gotta give Tyler Hero. He's Simba. Like he's gonna be one of these guys that we're watching for the next 15 years. But Bron, there's no need to snarl at that. I thought Bronny was Simba. I'm confused. Well, I'm just more talking about younger Ron players. I'm right not really getting him. into the whole Mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> Make arc later in the game. Hero in the half court sends this floater way up over Anthony Davis for the bucket. Scotty, how difficult is this shot to make? Well, it looked like a layup for him, but it's pretty difficult for me. <laughs> yeah. Tough shot. Uh, it definitely looked like a layup. That, uh, tough shot. I, I, I judge degree of difficulty based on if I've ever done it in my career. And I have never shot in a floater that high ever in my entire life. So I got to give a lot of credit. That was smooth. Like the okay. kid was playing in high school 18 months ago. Oh, years ago. Gosh. I mean, that's hey, but guys, insane. I, I will Come say on, this. Right? When, you, when, you, when you don't have to practice <laughs> on your dunk. intentions. End of the shot, club for my, shot clock for Miami in the fourth. Duncan Robinson miraculously banking in the three. Scotty, did Duncan mean to bank this one in? Tell us. Players uh, always say they mean it. No, I think he learned from uh, a few other guys in this league. You just make it and but, call, look, you, call glass afterwards. <laughs> Oh, 100%. But when you're that good of a shooter, I used to see Jason Kidd lose a ball and still get an assist. So they always act like they meant to do it. He's that good of a shooter where you just assume that he meant to do it. It looks like it. Oh, yeah, it definitely looks like it. And look, look, that's what you got to do. You always got to run back like it was nothing. Great shooters. You do a little yes. home run trot. <laughs> yes. Great shooters always oh, look I, like they I were supposed one. to make it. Yeah, I would have been smiling ear to Big ear. Big champagne. Congratulations to 2020 Finals MVP Brianna Stewart. Woo! Stewie dropped 26 points in a dominant sweep. Look at that. Storm. That is nice. Swag us up. Look Richard, at that. This could be the greatest post game interview of That's all time. That's amazing. Man. You know right? what? Amazing. These are guys are changing their games with these championships and the goggles. Man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you didn't have that, Scotty, back no, then. No, why did I think of that back in the day? <laughs> uh, the interview with the goggles, that's, that's all time. Look at that, that right there. That is a mood, ladies and gentlemen, right. a mood. <laughs> that's it. Uh, it looks like she's got an Oculus on. <laughs> she's ready to go. By the way, her teammate, Sue Bird, just won her fourth title in 17 years. Something, of course, LeBron trying to accomplish as well. Wow. LeBron calls her his draft buddy. That's Sue, awesome. Look at those stats. Look at those stats. Spirit. That is awesome. Yeah. We don't want to look look Sue over. Congratulations. Uh, you know, what a, what yeah, a great Sue, accomplishment. The boss. Long, longevity in this game. You know, you, you got to say a lot to those athletes who work on their bodies for 17, 16, 20, whatever amount of years they've been in the game. It's amazing that they're still going. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked to Sue Bird on the jump during the shutdown, and at that point, we didn't know if there would be an NBA season. We didn't know if there would be a WNBA season for sure. And she turns 40 in just a couple months, and the idea that this could have been her last season and possibly it might not have even happened, right, was something she was wrestling with. Instead, she's sitting there holding the trophy. So congratulations to her and all the storm. Did not lose yes. a game in the playoffs. That is amazing.
All right, guys, I do want to play some post-game sound from Jimmy Butler, who, as expected, not wavering in his confidence for himself or his team. I don't think that it should. I just think we're so comfortable with who we are and, and how we play that uh, that's what we're going to go out there and do. And we're going to live with the end result. Obviously, we want it to be a win. But um, we just got to lock in on us, knowing that we can control a lot of these things. Um, but our confidence ain't going nowhere. It's going to stay high. I'm going to make sure that it stays high because uh, it's going to have to be at an all-time high to get this next win. Scotty, do you share Jimmy's confidence down 3-1? Do you think they can at least extend it past game five? Let's start there. I, I really do. I mean, based on how the games have went in this series, uh, they've given them a, self, a shot in every game except for game one. So I, I, I follow Jimmy. I, I feel his confidence. And I, I think, again, as I said earlier, if Bam can have the type of game that can really be an impact to cause the Lakers defense to have to scramble, to cause the Lakers to have to double team him, it's going to make a difference in this series. You think those kids are making open shots now. I think when Bam have a breakout game, it's going to change the series. And that's what I'm, I'm waiting on. And hopefully this series don't pass him by. And look, this is going to be the toughest game, not just because it's a closeout, because you saw the impact that Bam Adebayo had. And now all of a sudden he's got a little bit of a rhythm. Everything's not moving super fast. He gets his win. Uh, but, but to me, when it comes to the Lakers and this Miami Heat team, everyone now, everyone knows now that the Lakers have to play very good. They have to play a very good game of basketball to beat. If, if, if the Lakers came out and just play average, if they play just okay, they're going to lose to the Miami Heat. So the Lakers have pressure that they have to play good, if not great, to secure a victory. And sometimes that, are, that wasn't what we were kind of thinking going into this series. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.